point them who make all police officers known. All our appearance were poor. People, a search party has been called off for a man who went swimming in the Rio Grande River in Portland on Sunday, April 28th, with a group of friends. The search was concluded when the body of 29-year-old Javon Abrams was found by a passerby in the area at around 9 a.m. on Tuesday. Reports are that Abrams of a Seaview Gardens address in Kingston did not resurface after he dived into the river. Subsequently, a search party was launched and the matter reported to the police. Friends of the deceased carried out searches on Sunday and Monday with the assistance of the Coast Guard. However, they noted that at the time, the river was in spate due to heavy rain downpour. All my officer right now is RIP and condolences goes out to the families, friends and well-wishers. Big up all I swim at them, but me are going to be careful because the swimming they not normal. You know? And when you can't hold on pan the water when you find yourself in a difficulties, and I want easy something down the underwater. Big up on yourself still. Right now, I'm tired for buy the Sunday cleaner. Honestly. Every single Sunday, me have to buy a cleaner. I'm looking at the classified section to see if me can get a good job. Because one job now go cut it. Can you imagine if me did have a family? I'm a single person. And right now, one job alone rough for me. It's hard for me to keep up with my bills them. Light bill, water bill, flow bill, all sort of bill. Plus, I have to take care of myself. You understand? It really rough, you know? Honestly, it really rough. Me just like, imagine them people who have one bag of pitney for feed. Because if I'm me alone and it roughs up on me, and every Sunday me have to go, you know the amount of resume I send out? The amount of resume I send out right now, I'm clean in my glina, right now my gmail full up and my gmail may have to go clear up right now after me done make the video here my gmail full up me send email so till you get what me i say so so much that's why when you see me when you know for bad mind because when you don't know what me i go through when you don't know where a person go through you understand right now it rough for me honestly me now come on here and pretend like say all is well, it's not. People, I want thing Maria to her, she have ambition. And me just hope and pray say she find another job or a better job soon. Because as she has said, the one job now go cut it. Things really rough nowadays, telling me now, like, you know, and things expensive. And them little job a minimum wage where people are work, you can't put up to certain things because you have taxi fare, lunch money, plus you want dinner, and you could have want supper too. Is it me? And sometimes the money not even dead. Eh? The money not right. Is it me? So right now, Jamaica have come like all foreign where some, some people do all three, four jobs for a day. But uh, how them are going to do it when it's a nine to five you're going to have? Where you get more time for do that type of job there? Is it me? Our next job is rough in other country. I'm not lie. But as I said, I hope she find the next job soon. My point is to make all police officers know. All our no parents were poor. All our no not come from a poor background. Me no mean definitely desperate poverty poor. But are the lower lower class people our no parents. Uptown people not on Pitney not on police. People have a Pitney not on police. As me say me no so no go in a job. No go in a fair work. I do no so no go in a to serve and protect. But we are saying. Have one justice. Just have one justice. The same justice for the ghetto youth, for be the same justice for the youth that come from uptown. I buy no one supposed to know, you know. So all the whole of a crime are gone over the world, you know. In Jamaica especially, you know. I just want to look at a handful of people are doing it, you know. Less than 5% of youth in our community the ranks, you know. Less than 5% of youth them now come into the ranks. Now, but that you say you might bleach out and tattoo up, you'll say my criminal. Now, man, most of them, the youth that are just nerd. Phone, girls. Yeah, they might do a little chopping, yes. But the man are really shatter. Them no instigate life. Deal with them, deal with them. Deal with them better. Deal with them like them are human, 
And as I say, remember, say you have come from the same level. Poor people, picnic on police. This is what I say. Treat the justice one way. No matter the color and no matter the class. One way. Can you just kick a man's foot? Kick off a man's door? Push him down on the ground? Just like that. And when you see the upper class man, you hesitate. Good morning, sir. I'm officer that, officer that. You know, say to the little ghetto youth. Go up a youth at Five Street again and the sky got jail. Go fling him down a jail and then look over there. Remember, say, no, jail and prison and a rehabilitation center again, you know. And a rehabilitation and a correction center. Mm -mm. A institute, it's on you now. You them going to go learn a lot of negative things. We need to have a system where we check out the youth and we talk to them going to jail. I'm in this time now. You can walk with a phone in your hand or a laptop with all that information from down to jail. So you see the camp down there, go check him out. You can check him out right which part in the right place. Right this up. Right this up. And if you don't have him information in this, you can put him information in our system. Right this up. Instead of carrying him down. We need no police. We think we don't need with them. One justice. Treat the youth them right. The ninety-five percent of youth them will not make no trouble. Don't don't make a five percent make a treat them right. Blessed. People, Manala, this man speak a whole heap of truth. I am not sure if his five percent out of the ghetto is bad enough. But me sure say I know. Everybody in the ghetto are bad people, are a try for rob, are a try for turn gunman, are a try for kill other people. Me sure about that. Enough. I must have a plenty good people come out of the ghetto. A whole heap of good product. But you see, when you come on to some police now, them treat you as where the place name. So if you come from Tivoli, them treat you that way. You come from Matches Lane, them treat you that way. Anywhere you come from, you, know, you understand me as a people, I saw them go treat you. Once you come from ghetto, them give you a ghetto treatment. In no matter what you do or what you never do. But if it's stop for true, and just like him say, you can process them right on the spot before you bring them in. Yes, them if you have something for that, so you run their name, run their file, and if they're straight, Make them go on. You don't have to bring them go down to the station because enough time they bring the youth them go to the station and some of them last in the system. Them go lock them up and nobody will hear about them again. Sometimes they take some of them and go kill them too. So watch ya. Run the youth them file pan this spot and when you find out say he is good, you let him go. No station not to involve. Certain things can be done better, you know. I don't lie because as what the man say, enough youth in the ghetto well innocent and not do no badness. But them get penalized because of where them come from and a full time that fist stop. Talk the truth, people. If you agree, say agree. If you don't agree, say you don't agree neither. I just saw the thing set. Big up on yourself. I'm out.